Of course, I wear a hat. Back with another episode here. More fun, though. More fun. Beer ball and banter. Uh, what, third episode? Is this third or fourth episode of Beer This ball? is third. Triple B. Third. Triple B. Third. Third. This is rivaling Triple D. Oh, uh, okay. We've uh, got the same same brewery as last time, but different beer. Different beer. So we're back with something somewhere in particular. And guys, I promise we didn't call each other on the backwards hats. I promise we didn't. It is sometimes, sometimes you get in a flow. And me and Jake, we're on a flow right now. So like sometimes you just... The, the feng shui just just meshes a little together so we're so we're, we're right back in we're college football is about to get started we're less than 10 days yeah and you know we've got some sit brewing we got some sit beer sit beer it's located right here in columbus ohio uh northwest columbus technically and when, when william comes up we're, we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go try it out there yeah. uh, you know they've got great stories great beer and their whole thing is sit back relax and enjoy your beer with somewhere in particular and that's right. We will we're definitely having, do that. We're having the Whistler today, American Lager, four point eight percent alcohol. So time, time to crack this open. And, yeah. You know, and Consider the spring ball before we before I come up there. Oh, you like that sound? That's ooh, the sound yeah. of America. That's the sound that kicked King George's ass out of America. Hey, that, that's only a couple weeks away. If you can no, kick Ge- George's. July Fourth was gone. A couple. Of, no, no, not Georgia. King George. Oh, I think that's how Georgia. we got the British off. Well, that Georgia. too. That too. Not not the best pour on my part, but you know, we'll refill, re- refill. Make sure when we restock, get your band fall wedding glasses if you're not doing so already. Cheers, we'll Jake. We'll have those restocked in the store. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's good. That's a good crispy boy. It's got a little smokiness to it. Do you get that? A little bit. A little bit. Now you say that a little bit of a smoky flavor in there. A little smoky. This is definitely an after, after I mow kind of beer. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? That's probably why it's called the whistler. You cut the grass, you take a sip of this bad boy, and then you just go. You know, like this is definitely. I sit down after I just mowed the lawn. This is the kind of beer that I'm having. You put your hands on your hips. You look out at the grass, and you just. Augusta National. All right, one out of five. One out of five. What do you What do you give in today? What do you give in the Whistler? I'm going three. I'm going three point two. So, so really, um, I, so for some reason, again, it's good. I don't do smoky beers. Um, they, they can sometimes overpower me. This is not too overpowering, but in terms of like like compared to last week, the um, the Easy Peasy, I think I like the Easy Peasy more than this one. So I can't give it a similar rating if I like the other one more. So I'm gonna go three point three point two. I, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm at like a four one. Uh, oh. This is this is right in my wheelhouse. I have this at a four one. I could have a bunch of these. Like I could yeah. drink this the whole time. Well, you do work with grass all day, so like this. I is, do work with grass. This is your. This is it. My day job is actually working <laughs> with grass. So you know, it, it's not marijuana. People landscaping. Uh, turf. What else do you do, Jake? Why don't you go and plug your business? <laughs> at athletic fields. If you ever want to, if you ever, if you're in Ohio and you need athletic fields taken care of, give me a call. Your baseball fields, your football fields, your soccer fields. No, uh, but not on a either. Saturday. If you give me a call on a Saturday to take care of your field in the fall, we're going to be fighting. Speaking I'm not going to answer your phone call. I'm not going to answer your phone call. And that leads us great into this. There's yes, a lot does. of discussions online right now about banning fall weddings. If you're following us, if you've been around, you know that Arminatra is banned fall weddings. And shout out to Red Dead Fred on Twitter. He deleted the tweet. Did you see that? That's soft. That's, That's soft. So, he got 6 million that. impressions on it, and then he deletes it after soft. every person in college football tweets at him. Either There were some people Fred. that were just like, yeah, okay, like, you know, people are overreacting. And there's some people who no. were just like, shut up. Fred, you got to stand on business. Delete the app and give yeah. it some time and then come back to it. Come back but, in two days. You got to stand on business, Fred. If you're going to say that people should grow up and not get mad about fall weddings, you better, you got to stand on it. You can't delete that tweet. Come on. No, come on. no, you absolutely cannot. You can't be Red Dead Fred. You got to be like Rosie Red Fred now. You're not. You're I've not tweeted some Fred. dumb stuff. And I've, the only time I ever delete something is if I'm like incredibly wrong about like a stat line or something. Dope. That's the only time where I'm like, oh, I, 
or I get like the complete wrong player. Like I watched a yeah. game and, you know, it'd be like the an instance of like I watched Oklahoma and talked about how Jackson Arnold was terrible and Jackson Arnold was like injured and didn't play. Like, yeah. Where yeah. I, like yeah. but then I usually put something out be like, I'm dumb. I thought Jackson Arnold was playing. He's not playing. Like, so you still on business. He's still still on business. I'm just it's- not it out there because eventually the mentions get too much. And I'm just like, I don't feel like dealing with this anymore. But like this dude put a hot take out. He knew what he was saying. Like this was not accidental. He didn't know what he was doing. This dude went out for it and just flopped. Yep. That's all right, Fred. But hey, Fred, we got you back. We're going to tell you, we're going to meet you in the middle. We're going to tell you which weeks in our opinion are the best. So obviously band fall weddings, if we want to get out in front of this and just clarify, we'd rather none of these weekends be your wedding weekend. However, Absolutely. we know life happens. So let's rank them. So if you're looking to, to schedule your wedding for this year in the fall, just go with this. Go with this. Watch our tracker. Look at our rankings. Go by mine. Don't go by Jake's. Um, we're going to see who has the best uh, the best ranking scale at the end of this. And then we're going to average them together. And then we're going to show that walk on red shirts tells you do not schedule your weddings on these weekends. See, just I was going to keep it up here with... We were going to go through and we'll we'll just drag them into the specific area because I think we're going to be pretty similar on a lot of these. We might. We probably will be. We're, we got we both had backwards hats today, so uh, exactly. I think we might be the same we're, person today. We're, we're feeling it. We're feeling it. So we're going to go through week by week, starting with week zero, and go through the whole way through the season to Army Navy weekend. Okay. We're going to rank them one through 17, one being the absolute worst weekend. Oh, you should oh. not be doing that. Wait, okay. Give your I'll flip reverse. it. I need to. I need to flip it. Okay. I'll, just, so this, I'll, do, I'll hit the Missy we'll, eight on mine. Don't worry about it. It's no, no, no. I got it. In. Okay. So number one is the absolute best weekend to go. Yep. Absolute best weekend. It's if you have the, to. If you have to, but I would not recommend it. I would be sick. Yeah. We want to again disclaimer. If you have to, we don't want you to do any of these weekends. If you have to, we understand that. Cousin Katie has to get married in the fall because she never went to a college football game. She doesn't understand what it's about, but she better have a TV there for you. Yeah. And cousin Bubba at his shotgun wedding. Hey, he messed up, but you got to have his back. But twins are on the way. Bust bust out the bust out our ranking scale. Look at it and show your wife. Hey, listen, my my line. You can't cross this. You can't cross this line. If it's, yeah, if it's once it's above 10, a certain number, no, we're we're, we're out. On sorry, this one. that's what the Walker Richard said. Yeah. yeah, you just just send him to William and Jake, and we'll we'll defend you. We'll we'll give you, gotcha. you all everything you need. So, start with week zero. I think that we will agree on this. That week zero is probably the best weekend to go. I have it as second best. I I, I'll give you best. that. I, I I'll give yeah. you that. But I, I think I know where you're going with it. I think I know where you're going with it. But let, let me hear me out. Yeah, on this you, one. you go first. You go first. Hear me out on this one. So you look at the schedule. You only got four games: Florida State and Georgia Tech. Let's say you're not in the wedding. You're attending the wedding. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. That game's at noon. In right. theory, if you got a four o'clock wedding, what do you, you know? You if that's the that's the best one. You got SMU Nevada at night. You, you got Delaware State, Hawaii. Now you got Montana State, New Mexico. But you got one FCS team in there. You can watch that game, the noon game, the one that everybody's going to be watching, and make it to the wedding at 4 o'clock. Now, if somebody's having a 2 o'clock wedding, now, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll meet you at the reception. But mm-hmm. I know where you're going with it, and maybe it's a northern thing versus a southern thing. But we don't oh. do weddings here in December. No, that's okay. That's a good point. That's a good point. The reason I'm going week zero as second is because – it would be first had it not be the very first real kickoff of football. So, like, I'm I'm watching football for the very first time. It's been so, so long. You've got Florida State and Georgia Tech at 12. Again, like, go back to Jake's point. It's a noon kickoff. You can still make it to most weddings if you do that. And if it's cutting it close, have your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, your boyfriend. There's some girls who love some college football. Your, your husband, have them drive so you can watch. Uh, but week zero, in my opinion, I have it at second. We will throw it a second here. We'll, we'll see how we continue going through this. I will say one story. Uh, I was driving home for or driving to my wife's family for March Madness one time. I made her drive. We were going on a long drive. 
we're leaving after work on like a Friday. I made her drive until she couldn't any further because she doesn't stay up late. That way I could watch on my phone March Madness and I could click through all the four games because I was like, I'm sorry, like hey. six okay. o'clock, seven o'clock. We're like we're, seven o'clock. We're prime time. Like we got games starting up. Like you got to drive until it's dark and you can't anymore. Yep. Then I'll take over and throw it on the radio. But like yep. I'm watching early. Let's clap it up for Miss Walk on Red Shirts. Let's clap yes. it up. That's, that's she, a she, was a she was a trooper that weekend. She was a trooper that weekend. Salute the troops. <clears throat> All right. Full week one. Full week one. I have that as the 14th. The 14th. I'm not I'm not too far off on you. I was gonna say that this was gonna be right in that range on the lower half. I want your reasoning first. So week 14, um, I can kind of get into it later, but excuse me, I have it at week I have it at 15. Excuse me. I have it ranked at 15. Uh, and the reason I have it there, there's two really important weeks that you cannot, 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 cannot miss. No matter what, you do not miss conference championship weekend, and you do not, under any circumstances, miss rivalry weekend. Now, conference championship weekend can be one of those weekends you miss if your team blows it and doesn't make it. Our teams, Jake and I, we're usually having some good ball games that weekend. Right, Jake? We're usually right. dabbling we in that area. Be. We tend to be right so in that area. Week one is is a very, very important weekend. You've got a lot of really good football. Um, it would be better if it had more good football. It's got three great games, and it's the first weekend of real kickoff. I know zero is, but that just gets you that's, – that's like, you know, that's like your appetizer. Now we're the One of the other field. things about week one is how far it stretches. Yep. We start games on Thursday. We finish on oh. Monday. So our last game Monday night is Boston College, Florida State. Yep. No, Sunday night yes. we have USC, LSU. If you go to a Saturday wedding, you get still get to meet get those. So for That's instance, true. me, I actually have to go to one this year, but I'm going on Sunday. Yeah. And so I do have to partially miss the USC LSU game. I got you, Jake. But I get to see everything else. So I'm not mad about missing that game. I'll have it on my phone. I'm one thousand oh. percent. Can I also add? Um, week zero is number two because I will be a, at a wedding on week zero. We're, we're doing a service to our people, right? We're both going to yeah. Vermont for weddings, actually back to back weekends, which is yeah, yeah. kind of funny. And won't actually my, be there in the same. Won't be there at the same time. Where, yeah. where, where's yours at? Burlington, for, no, it's same. In Middlebury, Middle Perry. Oh, we will be I'll, staying I'm in Burlington. To, I'm staying in Burlington as well. So we're going to be in the exact same spot when we yeah. part. I'll warm it up for you. That's my wife's hometown. I got you. Hey, if anybody's got recommendations for me, I you know your wife's uh, from there, but if anybody's got recommendations for us, what to do on yeah, days in Burlington, over. slide in the DMs. Let us know. We're both gonna be in Burlington, which is hilarious. All right, let's uh let's I'm I'm down with that for week one. we might be adjusting yeah. some of these rankings as we go. Week okay. two. I have week this two. This is higher. This is higher. Yeah, I have week two ranked at uh I'm all messed up at 13. Really? There's some good ball games. It's early. I guess when you look at it a little further, there's some good games in here, but there's also you're relying on potential and you still got some weak opponents in here. L let me read these off. Week two, you got Texas versus Michigan. That's you, top 10 game of the season. Yeah. You got Iowa State versus Iowa. You got a rivalry, rivalry game week two. You got... NC State versus Tennessee. You got South Carolina versus Kentucky, which down you here. You got Temple versus more. Navy. I was going to put that. I decided not to, but I was going to put that. Uh, Michigan State versus Maryland. We have an identity game. So who's Michigan State? Who's Maryland? We might find out in that game. Arkansas, Oklahoma State, Georgia Tech, Syracuse. Those are two teams that everybody is overlooking, but I think those are going to be two great teams. And you also have Colorado Nebraska, which is a huge rivalry game. So two rivalry games, Texas versus Michigan. And NC State versus ten, uh, Tennessee, like there's some great, great ball games. I'm going to go 13 because I think it's a little bit higher. I think that Texas Michigan game takes it to another notch. Oh, I think yeah. it takes it up oh, one yeah. notch there because, I mean, how often do we get two blue bloods like this to play in a non conference game? Now, it is at noon. It is at noon. Yeah. So if you have a wedding, you have a wedding, you have a really good chance of watching the whole thing before mm -hmm. you get there. Mm -hmm. Or at least you can finish watching it, you know, while they're about to walk down the altar. And if you live in central, or central time, 
Game's over at 2.30. You got all the time in the world there before the game starts. If you're on the West Coast, by all means, game's over. So at least you've got that going for you. Um, Boise State, Oregon, though, that's a really exciting game. I I think there's some storylines there. Yes. Especially because we have the iconic punch that happened. Oh, Um, yeah. Uh, 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 LeGarrette Blount. Yep. LeGarrette Blount with his iconic punch. You know, I think there's uh, some storylines there, but. You know, that's also a later game. So if you go to a wedding and you're on Eastern time, you're going to be able to see the end of it. Ashton Ginty, I mean, you get to see him play against some real talent. What is he against a, against a defense like Oregon? I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Arkansas, Oklahoma State could be interesting. Sam Pittman's coaching for his job. Yep. And Georgia Tech, Syracuse. I, honestly, I think everyone slides under the radar there. Yes. You got Kyle McCord and Syracuse. Georgia Tech is on the rise. Georgia Tech just got a five-star offensive lineman like, Brent Key's not messing around down there. Yeah, took him from took him from Florida State, and then they are about to get a guy from Georgia who just decommitted from Georgia, and he's trying yes, to go to Georgia Tech. Not Christian, Garrett, I think his name is. Chris, uh, crystal balls were flowing in for him. Crystal balls. Week three. I have week three third. We're... Oh, as the one of the best weeks to go. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was thinking. Was... I, I was gonna say it's it's definitely one of the higher ones to go to, in my opinion. Uh, you've got some good games. You've got Texas A&M, Florida. You've got Arizona, Kansas State, which could be good. Alabama, Wisconsin could be good. You're relying but, on potential with yes, this one. Yes. Um, so this this could flip once the season starts. But like Maryland, Virginia is a highlighter. Georgia, Kentucky. I could live without seeing Georgia, Kentucky. I could live without seeing Alabama, Wisconsin. Um, I can live without seeing Oregon, Oregon State. I mean, unfortunately, Oregon State is no longer uh, in the Power Four. So, how dead are they? How alive are they? Maybe they're pissed off. Maybe that becomes a really good game. I don't know. There's, like you said, there's a lot of potential around that game. Yeah. The Notre Dame Purdue, like that's a rivalry game, but it's not going to be that good. Oregon, Oregon State, obviously, you know, rivalry game there. LSU, South Carolina, I'm just. I guess we'll see. Alabama travels to Wisconsin, which could be a very interesting game. Yeah. Honestly, the best game is on Friday night between Arizona State and Kansas State. No, oh, it's and, Arizona State versus Kansas State. Arizona, Arizona versus- my bad. Arizona and Kansas State. I got yeah, that. And that's Friday. Like, so like how many weddings are on a Friday? You're you're good on that one. You're good on that yeah. one. Like Memphis, Florida State, you got an interesting storyline there with Mike Norvell leaving Memphis and going to Florida State. Yep. But Memphis, you know, Memphis might have a chance to be in the college football playoff. That's a test for them. The noon slate might be the best on this day, uh, which really bothers me because it's Ohio State's bye week and it's a chance I'm going to have to watch football all day. And I would really <laughs> love better games. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you so, have at rank, Jake? It's at the top. I was going to say three or four. Like it's it's not yeah. great. Yeah. Bama, Wisconsin, Oregon, Oregon State, Arizona, like, Kansas State. And that's on a Friday night. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to week four. I feel like week four, we're starting to get, I mean, we're we're starting to get into some conference games here. So there's some intrigue with this. I have week four at five, the fifth, fifth best. USC Michigan is an interesting game here. Could be Virginia Tech Miami will be fun. Virginia Tech um, Miami, Oklahoma Auburn could be fun. Uh, Kansas Georgia. West Virginia could be a fun game. I'm looking at week five. Hold on, we're we're at week four. Sorry, Arkansas Auburn, Florida Mississippi State, Tennessee uh, Oklahoma is a game. NC State Clemson. NC State Clemson Utah, will be a good one. U- Utah and Oklahoma State playing is an interesting game, but there's a lot of like the last one. There's a lot of potential, right? But there's no you look at this and go, wow, like that's a game I have to, I have to watch. Yeah. And like, I tried to, again, I try to remove bias. Like <laughs> if this was just a Clemson fan looking at it, this would be higher rank because NC state Clemson is going to be much, must watch TV for me. But from an overall college football fans perspective, obviously, you know, I'm looking at the hole. So I'm trying to, can I say looking at the hole on, on a live mic? Yeah, I mean, you can say whatever you want. Hole with a W. That's what I was trying to clarify. Hole with a W. 
like I this could end up being a week where we look back and go like wow that was like a pretty good weekend of football but at the yeah. same time we could also look back and be like yeah well that was a dud yeah Clemson beat NC State by 28 we should have known that was coming like Kansas and West Virginia I think could be a fun game but yes if West Virginia beats Penn State in week one that completely that'll changed. be an electric game yep. yep but at the same time you know, if Utah or Oklahoma State blow a game earlier in the year, suddenly that game's not as intriguing to the rest of us. I agree. Let's jump into week five. We have the final week here in September. September has got five weekends for us this year. So that makes it – or I guess technically four because there's one weekend in August, but technically. This weekend, again – it feels like we're lacking the high level matchups, except we do have Georgia and Alabama where yeah. that's the one where you look at it and go, I can't miss that. Your wedding yeah. better be over by seven 30. Yeah. I, yeah. I have <clears throat> week five at the six. No, I have it at the four spot. Okay. Yeah, I, have it at the, I have it at the four spot. So the fourth best. Um, to miss. Yeah. And, I'm going to drop that down to six because I think I that Georgia Alabama game, that. that Georgia Alabama game is just too big. Well, way too big. And Virginia Tech Miami could be big too. That could be a really big game. And I, I based on what you and I think about those two teams, um, I'm, I'm speaking for you a little bit, but I think Virginia Tech and Miami could be a big game, could be a great game. I mean, like, I think those two might be the, I mean, I think Georgia Bama is a lot to be the college game day game, right? But yeah. I think I think Virginia Tech Miami could be a three thirty primetime game. There's, I there's three see primetime that. slots. I don't know. I mean, Liberty App Ari- State, Arizona Utah is another game to watch out for. Yeah, Arizona Utah will be fun. Oklahoma Auburn, Louisville Notre Dame. Last time Notre Dame played Louisville, Louisville spanked them. You know, I mean, they- Kentucky and Ole Miss could be an interesting game. Yeah, th- those teams could not be more opposite. Let's. I mean. That is isn't like Kentucky plays good sound defense. They, they they really rely on their trenches. Ole Miss is flashy. The the new NIL like we I want to hey can I apologize to Kentucky fans? I was slandering them, saying that they could they had a postseason ban. I've been saying it for like two or three weeks. Thankfully, Figgy came in on uh, Tuesday. Him and uh, Lance Barton from Always Talking Ball podcast came on our, our SEC preview and corrected me. They kept me from slandering their name. Um, so let me apologize to all the Wildcat fans out there. Hey, I'll, I'm willing to be corrected whenever. If there's, if we're saying something wrong, let us know. We're, yep. we're more than willing to own up to it. I, I say a lot of things that are wrong. All right, week six, the first weekend of October. I this have one, it. Oh, go ahead. You go. You go. I was, I was going to say, I think this one's a still. An, you're still in okay territory here. I have it at ten. So like. Okay. Like towards the hey, you better not miss this one. I see. I think that there's more quality, but not the top end. Like yeah, Missouri and A and M could be a really, really good game. Yep. Rutgers and it Nebraska could also too. not mean anything by this point as well. Yeah, and and I think I have this rated higher. I'm very excited to watch Ole Miss versus South Carolina. Because of all the the back and forth jabbing with well, I say back and forth. It's literally the fourth. It is Ole Miss throwing jabs at South Carolina over and over again with Judas Wells leaving them. Like I think that game is like they're giving the South Carolina fans so much ammo to talk trash. And fun fact, Juice Wells has has not scored a touchdown in Williams Bryce. So um, last year, this is the week of why is that school going there? You have Syracuse going to UNLV. <laughs> you have USC going to Minnesota. You have Miami going to Cal. You have – I just saw another one. You have Virginia Tech going to Stanford. It's just the week of why is that team going there again? Oh, yeah, Clemson. because they're in the same conference now. You have Clemson going to Florida State, that poverty school. That poverty school. Couldn't even get into the playoff undefeated. I mean, there are some interesting games here. Rutgers, Nebraska, do not sleep on that one. Like, nope, that's going to be good. Do not one. sleep on that one. Rutgers, Nebraska, could be playing to be ranked. Hey, that Texas Tech and Arizona. Weird. 
Yeah, that, that, is, that sounds 2007-esque. But I'm telling you, both of them could be undefeated at that point and could be a really interesting matchup between those two. Yep, yep, yep. So do not sleep on that one. Uh, we've got – there's some really good games here. I mean, Duke, we didn't even Duke mention Ohio State good. and Iowa. Yes, that that – that could be a good game. I don't think it will be, but I, I it could. If this was in it. Iowa, I think I'd feel very different about it. But yeah. the fact that it's in Ohio State, I, I don't think the juju is going to help them there. And you've named a quarterback finally, so we can we can all rest our, our weary heads. The yeah. Ohio State okay. Buckeyes have named their quarterback. They named their quarterback, and, you know, everybody, everybody was really concerned who it's going to be. It's Will Howard, just in case you were wondering. Also, we get the national championship rematch in this week. Michigan we and Washington do. play. We do. Michigan's going to is... beat the doors off of them, but so, uh, you never know. Jake, in terms of, uh, um, let's see, Roth the retention. So what they got back, what teams got back. There's two teams tied at 125th and what they were able to return. Returning production is the word I'm looking for. Do you yeah. know what two teams are tied at 125th in the nation? Washington and oh, who was the other one? I, uh, I just saw the other one the other day. No, no you, it, you're Washington is correct. Is it a school in the SEC? It is not. It's a school in the Big Ten. It's a school that played the national championship. Oh, are they both Michigan and uh, it's Washington. Michigan and Washington tied at 125th. For well, Mississippi State had for like four guys return. Yeah. <laughs> but can you believe that? Like they played in the national championship last year, and they're both 125th out of 132. That just proves you. how senior laden that team was. Yeah, oh, and what happens when your coaches leave? Both yeah, head both. coaches left. It's an interesting yeah. storyline. Sorry, go ahead. I was like an interesting storyline because you have two new quarterbacks, two new head coaches, basically brand new offenses on both sides. Yeah, like. The guys who lost the national championship aren't even really there. Yeah, they're they're both irrelevant. I mean, the Michigan guys that good. won it, most yeah, of them already left as well. I mean, there's a couple of guys. You got guys on defense like Mason Graham that are coming back. Will Johnson, you know, Will Johnson, you know, uh, Donovan Edwards. You got plenty of guys from Michigan that are back. Washington has a whole new roster. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Can I go ahead and slot week seven in as the absolute worst week? No, I have them. I have them at fourteen. But I do. It's outside of week one. The only reason I have week one higher is because it's week one. Week seven would have been before that because week. You know, seven we have seventeen weeks gauntlet. in here, right? Yes. Okay, that's what's screwing me up. I've been right. I have. Yeah, I have week seven at thirteen. What we should we should only have sixteen weeks. So you got 12 games, two buys, conference championship week, Army Navy week. Oh. In week zero. So it should be 16. So you All have right, this right. one at 14? I have it at 14. And the reason I say I'll that, that then. is because it's not week one. Week one is week one because week one is ranked as high as it is because it's week one. It's the first, technically. Week There's the just first, an absolute monster. It is a gauntlet here. Name, name got, the first five games off your dome Texas and Oklahoma. Ohio State and Oregon, Ole Miss and LSU, Penn State, USC. Uh, I mean, you, some of these, like, we don't know yet, but Ohio like Ohio State, Oregon. How did you skip that one, Jake? I, saw, I thought I said that one. Ohio State, Oregon. Oh, you might have. You might have. Florida, Tennessee. I mean, Florida, Tennessee. Kansas State goes to Colorado. You know, Arizona plays at BYU, which could be interesting. Syracuse plays at NC State. Washington yeah. plays Iowa. Iowa State and West Virginia could be electric. That could be a that lot could of be an, That could be a lot of fun. South Carolina plays Alabama to watch them just get absolutely throttled. I mean, Stanford-Notre Dame is a rivalry game, and Stanford has pulled some weird stuff. We get an 11 o'clock Boise State-Hawaii game. Like, well, this is not one to miss. 11 o'clock p.m., we get some after-dark stuff. Thank you, CBS Hawaii. Sportsnet, people start getting your subscriptions ready, get your whatever you need to. Make sure you get all the channels because there's a ton of them. I've got cable. I'm not gonna lie. I'm ancient. I got cable. I don't. I'm I mean, one of those. It's, it's we also ahead. this week we get start with our Tuesday night game, 
We get FIU oh, and yeah. Liberty on Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That means we have Wednesday night in action that week then too, we, right? Wednesday night is New Mexico State and Jacksonville State. Maction doesn't yes. start till November typically. That's okay. That's okay. I love it. So we have college football Tuesday through Saturday. Friday it's night, we got Saturday. Utah going to Arizona State. That just feels like a weird game at 1030 at night already. Wait, wait, go back a little bit. I want you to say it one more time. Utah, Arizona State on a no, Friday night. At, uh, Tuesday, to, Tuesday to what? Tuesday to yep. Saturday. Yeah, sounds beautiful. Yeah, that sounds beautiful. I Tuesday love it. Tuesday to Saturday, we get it. I mean, in this week, we, we got it. Oregon, Ohio State. What was it Ole Miss LSU? Ole Miss Whatever. LSU. We have Texas, Oklahoma, Florida, Tennessee, Penn State, USC. All when I see Penn State, USC, I think Rose Bowl. I think Sam Darnold. I think Saquon Barkley. That I remember watching that game with my wife. We were on a um, we were in a cabin, uh, and I remember watching that game from a hot tub, and that game was electric. That is an absolute great weekend. This next week is also pretty darn good. Not doesn't have quite the star power, but it's got, you know, it's got everybody playing. We you know the problem with this year, though, I will say, there's two bye weeks in here, yeah, because of how the schedule lines up. So we get a longer season, but that doesn't mean that the games are always as great every weekend because everybody's got two buys. Yeah, not two buys. Two buys. This weekend, I mean. Friday night, we have potential to have three ranked teams playing. Yeah. Florida State playing at Duke. Manny Diaz, you never know what's going to happen there. And you never Oregon, know at Purdue, Oregon at Purdue on a Friday night just screams to me that Purdue is going to make this freaky because they're coming off of a game at home against Ohio State, go on a Friday night on a short week to play at Purdue. Yep. Weird things happen in West Lafayette. Uh, and Syracuse has only beaten Clemson in the past however many years on a Friday night. So everybody wants to say oh, Clemson, uh, Syracuse gives Clemson hell. They do, but they have only finished the job once, and it was on a Friday night. Kelly Bryant goes down. We played three different quarterbacks in that game. We played uh, – uh, what is his name? Something Cooper. Uh, and then Hunter Johnson. And, yeah, because Kelly Bryant got – Put to sleep in the first quarter, so that was a rough game. I remember watching that game. I have it at eleven. One at, okay, I was going to have it right around ten or eleven. Let's keep it at ten. Okay, keep it at ten because yeah, you, you've got some big games in there. I mean, Georgia Texas is that's a, that's a huge game. Georgia Texas is going to be fun. Like I think it's strength on strength or weak strength is, on weakness for both of them. I mean, you got Bama Tennessee third weekend in October. Pull out the cigars. You got LSU at Arkansas, which could be interesting, but I don't think Arkansas is going to possibly have a new coach. Kansas State at West Virginia. It's a rivalry game, though. LSU-Arkansas is a rivalry game. Yeah, so you never know. Uh, Kansas State-West Virginia could be another fun game. God, West Virginia is – thank you, West Virginia, for being you. West Virginia should be the Geno Smith era where Tavon Austin and Stedman Bailey are just, like, running wild. Tavon Austin – Man, man decided to hang up the cleats. Uh, USC them. going to Maryland. Yeah, watch that out. Good. Notre Dame, Georgia Tech in Hotlanta. Like, like USC going to Maryland just screams noon game to me. Yeah. And Oof. USC playing, you know, in their mind, a 9 a.m. game. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that's upset. It just Central. screams a noon kickoff to me. Well, and then don't forget it, uh, Oklahoma Ole Miss in that week. That's that's a very good game too. God, Jake, we're almost there. Can you we say are, Tuesday through Saturday football one more time for me? I have seen Tuesday, it time. Tuesday through Saturday football. That sounds good. That sounds so good. Week nine. <laughs> week nine. Here we go. You're gonna you'll be here for potentially one of these games. Nebraska might be undefeated when they play Ohio State. I think yes. that most will have one loss. You and I'll be going to that game. Put it at eleven. I'm, obviously, I can't go to a wedding that weekend. You, you wouldn't be allowed to go to a wedding. We'll be at the Walk On Red Shirts wedding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we call it the Red Wedding. That's never been used before, has it? Red Wedding. I'm sure Taylor Swift found a way to use it once or twice. It's definitely Missouri like travels to Alabama. Oklahoma travels to Ole Miss. Penn State travels to Wisconsin. Florida State plays Miami. 
LSU plays AM, Kansas plays Kansas State, West Virginia plays Arizona. Oh boy, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech. Like, there's some really, really good games. SMU plays Duke. About all the ner- nerds. There, there's some very, very interesting games that are lined up here. I hope. Very, very interesting games. Jake, we're going to have so much fun that weekend. Texas plays Vanderbilt. Diego Pavia is about to pull off the upset of the year. Sorry, a lot of clap. If you didn't actually watch this week, you should go watch or listen to this week's. Yes, absolutely. Go watch the SC, Go listen to the SEC podcast. All we talked about was Vanderbilt. Diego Pavia, it was for an hour and a half we talked about Diego Pavia. Yep. We glazed all over him. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. I'm I'm saying some suspect stuff today, Jake. I didn't Oklahoma Ole Miss is actually okay. in this weekend, not the previous one, by the way. Oh, you're right. I was testing you. No. Is it? You're right. Yep, they, week nine. I'm they play right at it. Michigan State and Michigan play, which I know Michigan State's not going to be very good, but it's at least a rivalry game. Hey, Michigan State could beat them. We don't know what Michigan's going to look like. We don't know what Michigan State's going to look like. We don't know what either of them are going to look like. We don't know what either of them are going to look like for this year. We don't We don't know what Ron Moore texted Connor Stallions. So just to recap right now, the, <laughs> so far the best weeks that we have to go. So week zero is number two, second best week to go. Week three is the third best week to go. Week four is the fifth best. Week five is the sixth best. Week six is the ninth best. Week eight is the tenth best. Week nine is the eleventh best. Week two is the thirteenth best week to go to a wedding, so it's one of the worst. Week seven is the fourteenth best, third of the worst, and week one is the fifteenth best, the second worst, or actually, yep. yeah, the second worst week to go to a wet a fall wedding. Hashtag and we do Van realize, weddings. and we do realize everybody is going to agree with us. Van Paul weddings. I, I've already drank my entire beer. Shout out Sit Brewing. Shout out Sit Brewing. This is two times they have sponsored this podcast. Thank you so much, Sit Brewing. We look forward to the next brewery that might be coming around the bend. Yeah, yeah. This this will be after after all of our trips to Burlington, Vermont. I, I listen. My my father in law knows some people up there who know some people who know some people. I'm trying, I'm working my hardest to get us a Burlington, not even a Burlington, but a Vermont brewery to sponsor this podcast. Stay tuned. I'm feeling good about one of them. Hey, stay tuned. I'm, I'm driving, so I can uh, it's easy to bring beer back if I'm driving. Oh, my my in-laws are driving back, so I will have a fridge full of beer. I bring it all back. And Jake, after this, I will send you all the places that you need to go. And anybody else needs to send us that too. Yep. All right. November 2nd, this is, we'll I mean, it's highlighted 10. by Oregon at Michigan and Ohio State at Penn State. This is clearly a Big Ten weekend. I, this I have is this. clearly a yeah. Big Ten weekend. I have it at seven. Mm. Uh, that's fair because once you take out these first couple, we're starting to get into some other bye weeks. This this When I scroll, it's not as long of a schedule because we got a couple of bye weeks in here. There's potential in here, but Ohio State and Penn State and Oregon, Michigan – are clearly the top-notch games on this one. There's potential Wait. for two top-10 matchups. We, we might need to put this one at four because I don't think there's anything that's going to be worse than this one after this. Uh, maybe 11. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You got proceed. SEC Cupcake Week still coming. Pre- proceed. You still got SEC Cupcake Week coming. But yeah. this is clearly a Big Ten weekend because you got Wisconsin traveling to Iowa. USC plays Washington. Hashtag Big Ten football. So – You've got a bunch of good games in here, but outside of that, Ole Miss plays Arkansas. We'll see what they are even at at this point. North Carolina plays Florida State. Louisville plays Clemson. Kentucky plays Tennessee. Other than that, at least right now, the ranked games aren't super high. Virginia Tech, Syracuse has possibility. Florida, Georgia. Cocktail party. Are you sure it's this weekend? I think so. Duke, Miami, Wisconsin, Ohio State, Penn State. Oh, it is. Okay. It's just yeah. I'm by time. It's already scheduled on me. You got Maine and Oklahoma. Can't, who could miss like, that? Who would want to miss that one? The Bears. The, the Maine Bears could be coming to town. Is it the Bears? Yeah. I, I, I think outside of 
Penn State, Ohio State, and <clears throat> Oregon and uh, Michigan. Yeah, this uh, the schedule really lacks after yeah. those. Yeah, I think the next week might be worse though. Well, that's when we're getting into SEC cupcake schedule. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Week eleven here. Georgia Ole Miss, that's a great one. Yeah, Alabama say, LSU. Florida, Texas. Oklahoma, Missouri. Florida State, Notre Dame. Colorado, Texas Tech. Iowa State, Kansas. Clemson, Virginia Tech is going to be a good one. We might need to put this one at seven and put week ten at four. Okay. But do we move do we move them all up one? Do we move Yeah, we move four? them all up one. We move them all up one. Let's move let's just shift them all up one. Oh, that makes me sick. NC State comes in at week four. Just know I would never miss that game, guys. Just know that. I mean, our our line is like the top two, right? Like our line. Yeah. Like if, if if you're sitting on a line and it's like, okay, well. my Yeah, my line is the top two. Like, Jake and I would never miss week zero or week one for a wedding, right? <laughs> well, we would never do that, especially outside not one in that. Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, outside of that, we're good. Why would I? Why would I miss it for a wedding in Burlington, Vermont? Well, so like at least definitely Vermont, college football territory. I about to say at least Burlington, Vermont is a college football town. Fun fact: the wife, the wife, the high school that my wife went to had to combine with their rival to have a high school football team. They came down and I took them to a high school football game in South Carolina, which isn't even like maybe fifteenth best, top fifteen in the country for high school football, and they were mind blown. Then I took them to a Clemson game, and I think they. they Spontaneously combusted. They didn't. They didn't I was looking up to see if the like University that. of Vermont had a football team. They shut it down. They, they they do not. I was thinking maybe I could get away with going Jake, to a fault if I want to. That's what the we University do. Of We're starting the program back. That's our goal. We're gonna, bringing. I'm gonna, gonna send a message right now. Catamount Nation, we're coming for you. Hey, Adidas, you're a great sponsor. We'll get some breweries to sponsor. Catamount Nation, we're coming. We're bringing football back. Make football great again. They have a division two that also hockey doesn't team. have football. They're gonna uh, division three. Division three. I could try to go to see the Middlebury Panthers, the Castleton Spartans, or the Norwich Cadets. I kid you not, those are real schools. Norwich is the only one I've heard of. I've never heard of any of these, but apparently they have football teams. Hey Jake, how many um NFL players are from Vermont? I mean, I know the list is above zero. But the answer is zero. Are you? No way. There, there's yep. got to be an NFL player from Vermont. Zero. Vermont, Alaska, and one other state have zero. New Hampshire has a bunch. Vermont has zero. Uh, well, hold on. At least in the past twenty years, let's just let's let's clarify with that. Let's see. Stephen Wisniewski is from Vermont. This dude's. Might still be playing. Oh, he was born in Vermont, but he played football in te- high school football in Texas. Oh, okay. I think well, the yeah. list of all NFL players born in these are born in Vermont. There's ten of them. Okay. okay. Well, still that is insane. The football and Wisniewski is the most recent one, and he that didn't even play high school right? football there. No, no, he played. He graduated uh, high school in 01. Oh, but Popping he played high school football in Texas. Yeah, but technically still outside the 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to we're on week eleven here. Week eleven, and Golf we said, yes, yeah, so we said week eleven would be the seventh best or seventh best one to miss because we got Clemson, Georgia Virginia Tech. and Ole Miss, Clemson, Florida, Texas, Virginia Tech. Sorry, I'm going fast. Iowa State Kansas could be an electric game. Florida State Notre Dame could be electric. You said Florida State Notre Dame. Yeah, that's that's one I'll be watching for sure. You know, so side note, not about a wedding, but so my wife asked me recently, "Hey, her her sister's coming into town for it's actually week three. Do you want to go back to her mom, my in-laws, for the weekend and spend time with them? I said, no, I'm going to be parked on the couch watching football all weekend. That's just – it doesn't even be a fall wedding. I've got that line. I've got that line. You know, 
if it's one of these two weeks that are, you know, our number top two weeks, that's fine. You know, I could make a case. I'm not going to miss out on week three. I know it's one of the lower ones, but that's when it hits you. That's when, you know, you're not paying attention and Wisconsin's up 10 on Alabama and turn the fourth quarter. And you're like, why am I not watching this game? And let me go and clarify too. I'll be at a wedding week zero. I will be watching this game. I'll be watching Florida State Georgia Tech. You bet your bottom dollar, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My wife asked me if I wanted to go home to her family's that weekend as well. And I said, no, we don't need to go home that often. You don't need to go to adults. your in-laws for 17 weeks. I will not go back to my in-laws until Thanksgiving. I'll be good with it until the day of Thanksgiving. That's... And then I'm going to be like, we got to be back because Egg Bowl. Okay, I was about to say, you got to get back for the Egg Bowl. Got to get back for Egg Bowl. Let's keep it rolling. Week 12. Yeah, I'm not trying to uh, keep everybody listening too long. Week 12. I forgot, to, I forgot to rank that one. You forgot to rank week 12. Maybe that's why your numbers were off. Yeah, that is why my numbers are off. Uh, week 12. Oh, I think week 12 should go where week 10 is. So move 10 and 11 down, put 12 at six. I think 12 is pretty soft. Nebraska, USC, Missouri, South Carolina, LSU, Florida, Tennessee, Georgia would be good. Utah, Colorado could be good. Syracuse, Cal, Baylor, West Virginia, Oregon, Wisconsin. And yeah, week, yeah, week 12 is soft. I think, yeah, Georgia, Tennessee is clearly the best game one here. LSU and Florida has a chance. Utah and Colorado has a chance. Oregon, Wisconsin has a chance. <laughs> we're, we're sitting here hoping for the best. Arkansas and Texas, I mean, New Mexico State and A&M, you never know. You New Mexico never, State, hey, New Mexico State. State. they've done it before. I actually, I actually <laughs> think this might be even worse than week three. I think you're right. I think we I should. Think this might be the, I think this might be the third best week to go. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, week 12 kind of sucks. It does. It does. Tennessee and Georgia is clearly the best game. Week 12. Put week 12 for 13. You have 13 there right now. I think when you look at this. Update. You have it week 13. Oh, I must have put week 12 in there already. Oh, yeah, I did. When you look at this full schedule, nothing pops out saying, yeah, I can't wait for this week. Clemson plays Pitt. Yes. Yeah, Nebraska no, so, and USD. Fun fact maybe? about Clemson Pitt. Fun fact about Clemson Pitt. That is the only ACC school that has a winning record against Dabo Sweeney. Um, That's actually a ridiculous stat line. Change week three or the third worst to week 12. This is week 12 we're looking at. Oh, yeah, I pulled the wrong one. And then 13 should still be on the docket. Yeah, I will change and that. Then. LSU in Florida, like, I, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Maybe. Bah, bah. Bah. I don't know, Jake. I don't know, Jake. I mean, they're notable. Oregon, Wisconsin, I think, because Oregon is traveling to Wisconsin this late in the year. You don't want to go to cheese country. Cheese and beer, baby. You just don't know what you're going to get out of them. Yep, you don't know. There we go. Yeah, I, I honestly think this is one of the better weeks that if you happen to have a wedding this late in the fall on the 16th, not the worst weekend to go. I mean, I'm going to be parked on the couch. Yep. Oh, wow, I just got really no sorry. Nothing here is screaming, you can't miss these games. Jake, I think week 13 might need to, might need to move up a little bit too. Yeah, let's let's take a look at here week thirteen. I think week thirteen should go at eight. Alabama, Oklahoma, that's not a bad one there. Mississippi State, Missouri, not great. Charleston, Southern, Florida State, terrible. You called that game. You called that upset though. Mississippi State over Missouri. You called it. Already. I did. I did. Right Vanderbilt, down, LSU, not good. Why is Clemson playing the Citadel this late? We gotta give money to the people in the state, Jake. We're sure. philanthropists. We're for the Lampert. Philanthropist. Can you say philanthropist? Philanthropist? You do that really easily. I try. Colorado and Kansas, I guess. Where did you think this one should go? 
I think you should give it like nine or eight. I think it's, it's like even higher than that. Yeah, I think it might be. I think it's worse than. Like, I would rather watch NC State Clemson, Tennessee, yep. Oklahoma. Like, I yep, think put it's... it there. Put it there. Yep. Put it there. I think when you look we... at it, it's the fifth best week to go. Yeah, it's cheeks. I think it is the fifth best week to go because Alabama, Oklahoma is going to be a good game. Indiana, Ohio State, you never know. My Hoosiers might be taking your Buckeyes out. I, I doubt I doubt it. If that game was in <laughs> Bloomington, then maybe. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where it's at. What's Bloomington going to do? Uh, yeah, there's no fans. There. It's all Ohio State fans anyway. It's only four hours from Columbus. So I think Texas-Kentucky is an intriguing matchup, Yeah, especially if Quinn Ewers struggles. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm looking at this. And A&M and Auburn could be a pretty good game. UCF and West Virginia could be fun. I just got the, the heebie-jeebies. USC UCLA, the Deshaun Foster, uh, we're both in LA game. Yeah, both schools are in LA. <laughs> I, I think our last few here are very obvious. Yeah. Uh, you go into conference champion, or you go into week fourteen. This is rivalry week. You, you can't, you, you can't miss rivalry weekend. You're yeah, going to tell me that you have this you at can. thirteen, aren't you? I have rivalry weekend at you can't miss it no, no matter what. I have it at the top. I've said this before, and I will say it again. I have an ex-girlfriend whose mother was getting remarried on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Keyword there, guys. Keyword. Ex-girlfriend. Ex. Yep. I have an ex-girlfriend. I told her I wasn't coming. Said I had plans with my dad that day. Hell yeah. I love this. <laughs> Watch the Ohio State Michigan game. It's the infamous John O'Corn Michigan game. It wasn't even good, but you know what? I was not missing Ohio State you can't, Michigan. You can't miss it. You when you, when you want to talk about I practice what I preach, I skip my ex girlfriend's mother's wedding. You don't get much closer than your own wedding. See, everybody wants to hate on you for missing week one, but you won't miss rivalry weekend. And we put that as is, you cannot miss it. Like Ohio State, Michigan, Iron Bowl, like Clemson, South Carolina, the Palmetto Bowl. Don't you? you bring up, bring up that. I'm bring not up typing on Palmetto because I'm going to embarrass myself that I can't spell Palmetto. Two T's. You look through this weekend. You got Washington and Oregon. Ooh, you have the return what? of Texas and A and M. That's going. Oh, shit, that's going to be great. Tuesday through Saturday, college football. Except the Egg Bowl is not on Thursday this year. It should be on Friday. Yeah, the, is there going to be a game afternoon. on Thanksgiving? Is there going to be a game on Thanksgiving? Memphis TCU? and Tulane play on Thanksgiving this year. That, those are two good G5 schools. I'm cool with I'll that. Watch I'll watch it. Watch it. Well, you Nebraska know we'll be in. And Iowa, Georgia, Georgia Tech. You look through this even further. Georgia Tech took Georgia down to the wire last years. year. So, oh, man, Jake, this is – I'm excited. That makes sense. This is there's so many good games, and then there's even not not rivalry games on here like West Virginia, Texas Tech. But then you got Virginia and Virginia Tech. You've got Arkansas and Missouri, Florida and Florida State, Maryland, Penn State, Notre Dame, USC. There's so Miami, many games. Syracuse, Miami and Syracuse. <laughs> what a disgusting game! Yeah, it could be good. Kansas Baylor. There, there are just so many games. Then I think conference championship week, we slot this in at 13. Yeah. Uh, and the reason it's that high, guys, if your team's on it, you're not going to be as sad. Your team is almost definitely not playing. Is it? Yeah, if you're not a fan of it, it's not something that – you obviously want to be there for it. You want to watch it. Yeah. But if you're not a fan of it, you don't feel as partial to it. Yeah. You know, if the last couple of years, you know, you were an Ole Miss fan – you didn't feel the need to watch the SEC championship as much. Obviously, you want to, but it's something that you can get out of a little bit easier because your team's not playing. Whoa, 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 Jake, I'm looking at week one, and you don't have Clemson, Georgia on there. I'll be darn. You That's know, the notable no, – that is I the don't. notable game of the year. I don't know how I forgot about that one. That one's a noon game, too. Yep, 
Nooner. And that leaves Army Navy week one. I thought I think that's yeah. I think that's pretty obvious for that one. It's a fun game to watch. It's, one game. It's one game. And it it's not modern football. It is old school historic football, which it's which talks to my heart, but I would not be sad if I missed it. Let's put it this way. If Army and Navy played in week, we'll even go in the middle here. We have week five as the seventh best week. I don't know if Army Navy would make my TVs if I have two or three games on them. No, nope, I would probably wouldn't. keep an eye on it because if it got interesting, I want to see it. I wouldn't. Don't care. But it would not be at the top of my list. I care when it's the standalone because it's it's the historic aspect of when it's played that it that it is the only game. It's I mean, it's a fun game to watch. I love the, the pageantry of it. But if it's, it's also like it's... the fastest game because they run the ball <laughs> yeah. 90 times. People get mad about how fast the game is, but it doesn't matter if you have the clock stoppages or not. This game was always faster because they don't throw the ball. Yeah, this is um, this is great. And, and honestly, guys, you're welcome, humbly, for making this list for you. I mean, Jake. This if we're is... being honest. I think the top three weeks are the ones where it's acceptable to miss for something. Yeah, you can you can juggle those. Maybe maybe your week goes lower. Maybe you're in the top. Maybe the top six weeks are not that important to you. you maybe there's games weeks. in here where you're okay missing. But once you start getting to that middle of that, once you start getting into you know the seventh best, eighth best, like how dedicated are you as a fan? How yeah. big of a college fan are you? Are you an NFL fan at this point? Like, do you not care? We're not yeah. NFL people. I mean, NFL's fine, but we're college football fans. There's a reason we're why we're doing fans. this list. We're college football fans. We have a podcast on college football. We don't have a podcast for NFL. We spend we spend multiple hours a week dedicating our week to college football. Just yep. Mm-hmm. Just multiple hours. We do it for multiple, the love. We do it for the love. Tens and tens of hours. We'll, we'll put this list out for everybody. We're I'm I'm so excited to see the feedback on this and see what people think. Because I know we're going to get pushback on it. And I want to hear feedback. Tell us which weeks that you would rank higher, which weeks that you cannot miss. I think it's pretty self-explanatory that week one, week seven, and week 14 are clearly the three best weeks that you can't miss college football for that. Would love to hear other opinions. It might be partial to your team, though, because that's the other thing. If your team has a really big game in here, you know, if you're, for instance, a Penn State fan, you know, that Ohio State game to you is like 17. Like, you're not missing that one. Like, that is like your biggest right. game of the year. Right. So, There's that's not biases. an optional. Yeah. That's not optional. We missed on that one. But when you talk in general for college football, that's where we're at here. Yeah. Well, we appreciate everybody joining us tonight. It's been great. Yeah. We'll make sure that you guys have all of this. And we're, when people start listening, it's only be eight days out from college football. Eight days out. Shout out to Sit Brewing for, for helping yeah. us out shout with out, this podcast. Shout out to Sit Brewing. Shout out to somewhere in particular located here in Columbus, Ohio. It's been great. We're super appreciative. They sponsored two episodes. Great people. They make great beer. If you're ever in Columbus, if you come to an Ohio State football game, go check them out. They have the best pretzel and beer cheese I've ever had in my life. You have to go try that. Yeah. Hey, if you come, what is that, week seven, week nine? Week Which nine. Week, is that? week nine. If you come week nine, you might see – you might see the walk-on redshirt boys there. William's not taking autographs, though. No, no, that will cost you money because you you just got something. You you had something ruined because I just you actually lost it. money by getting yeah. the autograph. Yeah, you have to burn whatever I sign. Well, we appreciate everybody joining us on our third episode of Beer Ball and Banter. We'll be back probably after Labor Day, just because you know we're both going to Burlington, Vermont, for some reason. Well, we'll be back, back Monday. After. We're, we're talking. We're, we're, oh, yeah. yeah back, for, back for banter. Your, your regularly broadcasted events will come out. Exactly. But we'll be back, we'll be back next week. We're going to do full-on previews for the season. Uh, we're also going to start previewing week zero, which the main one is Georgia Tech and Florida State. But we're going to give our picks for the whole season as well. Um, so that being said, thanks for joining. And we'll see you guys again next week. See you.